Hi there. In this video, we'll learn what makes a great image target. Bring signage, magazine, boxes, bottles, cups, and cans to life with eighth wall image targets. Image targets can be flat, cylindrical, and conical to accommodate an object's real shape. Create objects with multiple or simultaneous image target tracking or combine image targets with world tracking for an even more immersive experience. Expand your creativity by using more than one image target in your experience. Eighth wall allows you to add up to 10 image targets at the same time, or five when combined with world effects. In addition, the platform offers various events that trigger at different stages of the image target lifecycle. This enables you to execute custom actions when image targets are found, updated, or no longer visible. Here are five tips to follow when creating the best possible image target for tracking. Number one, varied and abundant detail. Number two, high image contrast. Three, absence of repetitive patterns or symmetry. Four, no excessive blank space. Five, non-reflective surfaces. The initial three rules fundamentally center on a key idea. Target tracking operates by discerning distinct points within images' details, which requires sharp contrast between these points. To figure out the target's position accurately, it's important to identify all the different parts of the image, which shows why we shouldn't use repetitive patterns or designs. Next up, having feature points that are spread out with lots of empty space can make image tracking worse. Blank space around the edges isn't great either, so try to have some good feature points there to help out. Lastly, ensure that your image surface is either non-reflective or matte. Reflective surfaces tend to introduce additional details into the reflected image, generating noise in the detection patterns, leading to erratic behavior. Image targets are processed in grayscale, so it's a good idea to run colorless tests to check if they maintain enough detail once the color is removed. Remember that if you have two identical images with only color differences, they will likely be tracked as the same image due to grayscale processing. During the process of uploading your image targets to 8th Wall, you can fine-tune their central focus by removing sections of the image you'd rather not include. This approach may be optimal when uploading an image target for a mural, where the core areas of the mural possesses numeral feature points and possibly excessive empty space along the edges. These tips work for all image targets, no matter if they are flat, cylindrical, or conical. Additionally, figuration steps are required when working with cylindrical and conical trackers. Since these involve images on curved surfaces, it is necessary to provide size information for your object, such as the orientation, dimensions, or relative measurements based on the curvature. For conical trackers, you also need to specify the width of the top edge and of the bottom edge. With this understanding, you are now ready to create image targets for your WebAR experiences. Thank you for watching and keep building amazing experiences with 8th Wall.